What's going guys, Zenos here and today in this video of Interflight I am bringing you guys a guide on Fire New A Dark Blood Soul, okay? So let's get this started guys. First of all guys, let's start with the pros guys. She is a defense based TPS 7 that's uh, been said. She is actually gonna have a immunity to defense debuffs that is obviously gonna make sure that like her damage output is actually not gonna be um like uh, how to say like affected and obviously like her endurance is also not really gonna affect it because like her defense is actually actually not gonna be reduced so like that's good that's really good right and the next thing is that guys her stats, okay, her uh, main stats right out here are pretty much up to date. It's a current meta, okay. So really, she really is like a better version of any other like DPS, uh, defense based DPS server right out there. Like let's say for Skarmila, Fire Carmilla, she's actually a very better version right out there, guys. And even when it comes to uh, her like, uh, you know, like uh, multiplier, skill multiplier, they are pretty much of the uh, current meta. And that makes her really a latest character indeed. And you won't actually, uh, how to say this, like... Uh, be cheated on or let's say feel dissatisfied when actually you manage to pull her up Okay, that's the one thing right out there and disadvantage is that like obviously she is a single target nuker that makes her uh, Viability in the PvP con a little bit less guys. That's the thing right out there uh, But anyways guys if you actually manage to build her up pretty good Especially in terms of speed and defense stats. She's actually gonna be a really viable unit But you know like many other uh, PvP units like defense uh, defense ignore DPS 7 and AOE uh, uh, DPS servants are pretty much like concording the PvP content in that kind of situation guys You might have a little bit of problem right out there But anyways in other case of situation guys she's gonna be a really great farmer even in the late game content guys I mean like she has such uh, endurance that she can actually stand alone even against the boss raids Okay, so that's what she is okay, and now let's start with her skills guys First skill is pretty much the copy paste. It uh, it will actually decrease the defense of the opponent up by up to like uh, 30 seconds of level five. Okay. Uh, second skill is pretty much a cliche as well, providing her a defense boost. Okay, for 60 seconds by level five. That's pretty good. And finally, the combo skill is pretty much uh, you know like uh, it's also a copy paste. Okay, it's a single target nuke deals 7,084 percent damage upon the skill used. That is good. Okay, that's that's pretty good. And it's only a one hit multi hit skill. Obviously, she's also gonna have a little bit problem. When it comes to fighting against the, uh, you know, like damage reducers or damage limiters, like let's say fire heat, okay, because they can limit the damage incoming to them only up to 30% of their max HP, and that can actually be a little bit problematic uh, for her to actually get rid of them. But she might have better, uh, how to say this, uh, chances against the. Uh, Lucretia tanks, okay, because she's just a single target new girl. So now let's move on to the next one guys the passive skill guys now her passive skill is pretty much very very interesting a very new feature right out there guys There is actually a 30% chance to spray enemies with the dark blood to block enemies from receiving boss for 15 seconds when any Attack lands as a critter. So it if one actually refers to her normal attack as well as long as you can actually trigger that crit hit this is actually gonna make sure that like the opponent is gonna have that 15 seconds of uh, debuff which actually don't allow them to receive any buffs okay so that is pretty good actually that's pretty good it, it has a very frequent rate of ratio even 30% is pretty good when your normal attacks are pretty much included in the formula okay? <laughs> so that's good actually also upon using the combo skill on a buff blocked enemy attacks the enemy while its defense has been reduced by 40% so obviously when they have their uh, buff being blocked okay in that time if you actually manage to use your combo skill she will actually ignore the 40% of their defense guys that is pretty great okay uh, but the sad thing is that like uh, the main uh, defense break right out here or let's say the defense reduction right out here okay and the another defense reduction right out here will only add up to 80% only I mean like uh, the normal defense break right out here provides like 70% of the defense reduction, right? This one is like 40% defense reduction. That should have been like 110% defense reduction. But as the roof limit is only up to like 80%, so 80% of the defense reduction will be made. Obviously, that will allow you to have a more damage output in that scenario, guys. First thing. But this is actually pretty good as well. You know why? She can actually become a better farmer than anyone out there. You know why? Because, they are, 
you know like for most of the dps7 guys it's actually a very big problem to decrease the defense of the opponent when you are farming in let's say in the map tiles or maybe in the sanctuary guys right but her passive skill is gonna make sure that like at least 40 percent of the defense of the opponent are actually gonna be compromised so that means like at least she will be able to farm pretty much nicely let's say in the omen dungeon in the explore region or whatever it is guys i'm like she's actually going to be a better farmer because of this one at least that 40 percent of the defense reduction is being guaranteed nearly guaranteed guys i'm like it's pretty much your thing <laughs> guys right out there so it's pretty great okay this actually gives her a very good advantage as a farmer and now let's move on to the next one guys with the fourth awakening being achieved if an ally caesar is present defense increases by 100 percent that is great okay and if the caesar is not present and any other ally tank is present like let's say water uncle uh defense will be increased by 70 percent okay so that's the thing that you have to keep in mind guys please try to awaken her to the fourth awakening right away asap and guess what guys even her team passive is actually cool really really cool guys you really don't actually see this kind of team passive with any other sort of like defense based dps7 right out there guys as a team passive she provides the defense boost to all element allies by 35 percent at all reasons like every allies right now there obviously the defense uh, for her will actually give her a higher damage output with the first case but also it also really does provide a all-rounder defense boost to everyone meaning like obviously it's also going to provide that extra defense that your tank is going to need what if a tank you bring that is great this is just too good because like compared to any other servants that actually provide the attack boost to everyone in there in the old regions this one is pretty much better because like it does not only just work for you but even for the entire allies okay so this in overall provides a very good defensive uh, ability or defensive uh, you know like potential for your entire team even in the pvp content which can actually be really good guys to have around I think this is pretty great, okay? So that's the thing. And guess what, guys? She's also really being allied to a one of the really amazing tank out there in the entire game, S tier tank, that is Caesar. So this also makes her a really amazing unit right out there. I mean, like, you know, most of the cases, like, when you would really want to pair up or match up or, let's say, try to uh, utilize your... Uh, relation effect right out there most of the time you know like in certain case you might actually have to team up with a very ignored or let's say a very how to say this like <laughs> underrated servants okay and that can actually be a very big problem and now right out here caesar is a really damn awesome tank or healer right out there being a s tier unit so this is actually pretty great okay so as in overall guys she has too much advantage right out there uh, alas okay her combo skill really do not deal as sort of like uh aoe attack that's the only limitation with her guys but uh, anything else is actually going to be a one of the most amazing farmer unit right out there so you really want a good farmer she is the one that you would really want to seek out for she also provides a really good defense boost to the entire team that makes a really good uh how to say this like team up okay so really good chemistry right out there guys i'm like she's gonna be really great for any other content out there guys uh except for pvp she might actually a little, uh, struggle a little bit a little bit okay but due to her passive skill guys she will also provide a very unique advantage on your side as well and now let's move on to what sort of equipment should we give to our fire new guys okay so have a gear guys <laughs> either have a gear or the iron gear okay either have a gear or the iron gear that is actually gonna seal the deal for your fire new first thing guys okay and you might be asking what sort of primary stats should we actually keep on looking forward for this particular unit so obviously weapon shirt and the pants primary stat flat stat no need to worry about that one but when you are actually looking out for what for the substat or additional stats please try to go with defense personage boost obviously no brainer <laughs> okay crit rate boost critical damage boost and speed boost okay so these are the main four criteria that you really need to go with again i would say speed boost 
defense personage boost critical rate boost and critical damage boost guys these four boost will actually really make your gear a perfect gear for your fire new and now uh, when you are talking about the gloves okay guys gloves helmet uh shoes and the ring you can actually go with defense personage boost on everyone if you have have a gear okay but if you are actually going going with the iron gear please try to consider some critical damage boost as the primary stat on your helmet and your ring okay because guys main thing is that like please try to balance your unit out make sure that your defense based dps servant will not have his critical damage more than 400 percent because like according to my mentor uh, he said that like if the critical damage goes above 400% somehow it really does not uh, provide a really good boost to your CP or let's say your growth rate right out here okay or your let's say growth score that's the problem right out there guys okay so try to make your crit damage over around 400% and rest of the stats should actually either go to speed or your defense stats okay and that's how it's actually gonna happen guys crit rate is pretty much standard try to get it up to 100% and that's all you need to require right uh, the remaining rest of the really bonus status uh, bonus stat, uh, stats okay you have to go with speed boost and your defense boost and that is actually gonna give your uh, defense based DPS 7 or let's say your fire new a really good stats okay so that's the thing right out there guys also try to upgrade our potential especially so many potential out there with that will provide her extra critical damage boost and stuff like that that will also provide her a really good damage output okay so that's the thing right out there guys so uh pretty much this is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contents of my channel see you guys in the next video